Hello guys, welcome back to more PES 5 Master League on a sunny day at the riverside today. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, that is bright. But uh, yeah, today, well, I don't know. I don't know about today because it's always a tricky place to come to, I think, this uh, stadium. So yeah, we've we played Middlesbrough away for a few years now and there's been some good games. I think like Season 4 and Season 5... We're okay. <laughs> um, season 3 was a bit tricky. I think we drew 1-1. One, one, and then the season before we won in Season 2. But it was like... I think it was 2-1. But we won like right at the end of the game. With a lucky break. So yeah. I don't know. And where is Omri going there? I don't know. Uh, Ronaldinho is attacking midfield today. Here he is. He's going to take this one. And... Oh, decent free kick there. I was I think it was off target though. Um, yeah, so it was either... Because I was going to put Eto up front today to give him more time. But then I was like, mm, he's not really scoring a much. You know, he's not he has not impressed me so far. Um, so yeah, but then I remembered that we've got a big midweek game coming up against United in the Champions League soon. So um, I figured, well, we need to prepare for that one. So I don't want to... I, I want to change the team up, but I don't want to bring all of my best players out of this one. So, yeah. As you can see there, we've got Takafu on an orange arrow. He's oh, playing... Oh, oh. Check gets there. Yeah, um, he's playing in the right-back position today for Sergio Ramos. And, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Ronaldinho, of course, as I've mentioned. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Mutu. Ah, oh, never mind. Hit it first time. Um... Mutu up front there. Gerard in the centre of, of the midfield today. And along with Iniesta, Xavi is going to sit this one out for Kaiser. Because he had a pretty good game in the last one as well. Um, in the defence, I've got Ashley Cole in there uh, for Risa. It's just everybody's like on green form. There's just a whole bunch of green forms this week. And it's just really strange because normally... We, we have quite a lot of good forms on each week, but not this week. There's a f there's maybe one or two reds in there, some oranges, but for the most part, it's uh, it's pretty bad <laughs> for form. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then we've got Colaccini and I think Puyol. Puyol on a red arrow and, of course, checking goal. So, yeah, that is today's uh, team. And, yeah, I've even got Torres sitting on the bench again today just because. So, yeah, I'm kind of... Should have been 1-0 from Viduka that. Wow. In fact, it could have been 2-0 already, couldn't it? That is a let off. Um, What was I going to say? Yeah, so... Yeah, that's the team. <laughs> that's the team to do. Gerard. It's Cafu. Oh! And it's going to be a throw-in. I think it's ours. And here's Henri. Ah, never mind. Ah, oh well. Ashley Cole is like coming into the centre of the midfield here now for some reason. Here's Thierry Henry again. Oh, that's good. Thierry Henry, the header from Mutu. Oh, Mutu is off target. Defender was slightly putting him off. Ah, uh, well. Oh, goalkeeper comes out there. Now, Schwartz was on an orange arrow, but he needed a rest. So I didn't go with him today. Cause he, he played the last game, didn't he? And that's offside. Kaiser, Iniesta, Kaiser again, Ronaldinho, and oh, well, Ashley Cole was running in behind there, and it's going to be Ronaldinho again to take this, and he might go for it, No, oh, well, he's got the free kick duties to do, 
assisted loopily in his last league game. Ronaldinho wasn't bad. Gerard's got to get back to stop Viduka. I think they've got Viduka and Yakubu up front today, which is uh, can be a little tricky to deal with at times, I suppose. Oh, that is a bad ball. What, where is that? Ronaldinho, come on. <laughs> Puil. Ronaldinho. Uh, so something I've gone ahead and done. I've actually changed Ronaldinho and... Um, oh, Gerard's positions. Are, oh! Well, I think... Was that... Gerard or... Well, somebody moved and they didn't need to there because it was a really good uh, position to be in. But yeah, changed Gerard and Ronaldinho's positions over because I remember like Ronaldinho working pretty well down the um, left hand side, and so I've put Gerard into the AMF instead. So that's what I'm going to do today. Kaiser, here's Ronaldinho. As you can see, he's sitting a little bit further back, but it's not too far back. Yakubu. Him and, him and Viduka are worrying me today, honestly, I will admit. Oh, and that's over the head, and Czech will get there. Stoppage time here. Thrown out to Ashley Cole. Here's Ronaldinho, and that's half time. Yeah, it's not been great. Got to be better in the second half. And the second half is off. 45 minutes left here today at Middlesbrough. Here's Colaccini, here's Cafu. Gerard. Been a while since we've seen him in an AMF role. Booted up. Puyol tries to stop that one. And it's back with uh, Gerard, who's taken off the ball. Here's Bocca. He's trying to put it through. Connor Chini, I think, got there first. But the ball is into the box. It's pretty dangerous. Colchini is there. It's still not cleared. It's Brew. This is not good. Oh, but that is pretty bad ball into the box and Mutu releases Thierry Henry oh it's off target oh well can't expect too much Temple will take the goal kick boots it just over halfway Mendieta out of play there. Mutu. Uh, he's waiting for the run of Gerard there, but he can't release him. Temble. Brew. Bocker. To Viduka. Oh, nice tackle by Colaccini, that. He's so good. <laughs> he is. I can't praise him enough, actually. Blocked out. Here's Mutu. Here's Henri. No, you know what? I do f sort of feel like Henri is getting slower and slower now. That's some, he's got some good pace about him, especially when he started with us, but I feel like it has gone down a little bit. I'm going to have to maybe check his stats. But yeah. Oh, ball in. Here's Iniesta. Oh, that is a free kick. And a half. It's not going anywhere, that one. Down in. Bocker. Brew. You get some of these weird names, don't you? <laughs> you know, when you um, get this far in. 
to a oh to a series, but yeah, that was uh, Nemeth there. That's good. Terry Henry. It's got to be a goal. Yes. Mutu wasn't going to miss that one. 31 he is. But he's still banging in the goals. That's one of the more easy ones you'll ever see him score. Oh, that was on target, I think, there by Henri. 20 minutes to go, and we're one up, finally. Kaiser is going to come off for Chavi, and um, Torres is going to come on again. Yeah, it was either... Oh, I brought Messi with us today because he was on a red arrow. He's like the best striker on the best arrow, but I figured, you know what, I, I don't know because Eto's not really having a good time of it at the moment, and we're only 1-0 up here, and I know it's a bit of a gamble playing a player that doesn't normally play for us much, but yeah, that's, oh, that could have been all right. It's Gerard. Ah, oh, you know what, we had a better chance there to score. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And then we've got one sub left. Um, so I don't know, but like Cafu's stamina's low, but he's playing well, so I don't really want to bring him off. And. Oh, Torres. Oh, Torres! Can't believe that! Oh! Fernando Torres! He's back and he's back a hero I mean it's not the winning goal or anything but still oh that might put his um, January into question on whether or not he's going to remain a Liverpool player but uh, what a fantastic header and it came from him you know just a moment ago he had that fantastic um, strike on target that was saved only just saved though well, I am actually going to bring um, Mutu off then with that second goal going in um, and bringing Messi on then and just changing it up up front, I suppose, today. And that just needs to be cleared. And that will end off today's uh, game. But yeah, wow. I mean, he came back in the other game, don't get me wrong, but um, was it was it the Roma game, I believe? But yeah, um, still, but still, here's Mutu. To Tor oh, he's trying to put Torres in again. And it's Mutu and Iniesta. Oh, that's a good save. It needed to be much further away from the keeper that. Messi's coming on. I haven't seen him in I think he scored against Madrid, didn't he, in the Champions League last season, and that was like the last time we saw him. So, yeah. Torres. And... Oh, we're so good at doing those flicks, but that didn't work out. I think that was Chavi's strike. Oh, and that's lovely. This has got to be a goal! Torres! Oh, yes! You could even get a late hat trick here if he was really lucky. It was on a plate though, that one. To be fair. Is he back though? Is he back? Is, he, is it the second coming of Torres that we're seeing here? Is he back? Could it just be? 
Who knows? He struggled in season four, didn't really get too many games. He had that international break in that season, I remember, and he didn't do uh, particularly well um, to get into the team. Kind of overshadowed by... Um, who did we have up front that season, actually? <laughs> I'm trying to think now. Um, hmm. Oh, here's Torres. I'm trying to think who it was now, actually. But, yeah... Oh, free kick. In season five, he just didn't like get a game at all, really. And here's Gerard. And uh, Chavez <laughs> he brought down. I'm gonna give it to Torres. You know what? Screw it. He's gonna take it. Torres. Oh. Oh, it's Iniesta. I really want him to get the hat-trick now. I really, really do. It's Iniesta. The ball into the box. So he's trying to find Messi. I think that's going to be full-time. Uh, yeah, that will be full-time, I reckon, now. Oh, this is bad. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. Very interesting. Well, is is our number nine back? He came on and got a six point five, which is good for the short time he played. Mutu with a seven point five. I thought Gerard was probably the best on the field today. Actually, saying that seven point five for him in his AMF role, which he used to have. Colacini and Puyol both were seven point fives. Excellent, really good stuff there. They did threaten early on Middlesbrough, but we kept them out. Um, so yeah, that was just. That was a great game, that. I don't know what to think of it, honestly. So, it's the fixture 11 results to kick us off with. Wigan have won at home to Fulham. Arsenal have lost away at Newcastle. West Brom pick up yet another win. 2-1 away at Everton. Wow. Where... I'm going to have to find out where they are in the league now. But Chelsea have drawn 1-1 with Pez United. That is a great result for Pez United. They need points there at the bottom. Uh, Bolton have lost at Tottenham 2-1. Manchester United have won away at We United 2-1. And Aston Villa pick up a win. 2-1 against Rangers. So this is the league table then. And uh, West Brom are fourth currently. I have no clue how they're doing this. I, re I really do need to take a look at their team. And I might just do that if I remember. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Chelsea are down to 7th. Arsenal down to 8th. We United down to 6th. Spares up to 5th. Look at this. Like we got, like, West Brom and, and Spares, like, breaking into Europe these days. You know what I mean? Like, to be fair, I like, Tottenham have never been too far off it. I don't think they've ever been in Europe during this series. But, like, they have, they're looking so much better this uh, season. So, yeah. Um, Newcastle are only a point behind. Even West Brom are only a point behind United there. So, I just don't get what is going on, honestly. Aston Villa get their first win of the season there. That lifts them to 15th. They're still a point off um, climbing out of relegation and some goal difference. But their goal difference is not the worst at this moment in time. It is, well, it is joint worst, actually, technically. But, you know, it, it's joint. So, you know. Um, yeah, we're getting up to 10th, 14 points. Not bad there. And uh, Peugeot United have got 8 points now, still sitting in 13th. So th this is something I never do, but this is actually West Brom's team right here. So yeah, uh, Hoff's right here. He's got 4 goals. You've got Ellington who's got 3. Carno has got 2. Carno's still playing for him well. Uh, Carter with 3. Chaplow with uh, 2 goals there. There's a few assists in there as well. Um, ensure has got 2. Um... So yeah, this is this is their team. If anybody's wondering, it's just really strange to see. You know, <laughs> Francia there, uh, uh, Gira, Kamara. You know, it's, it's like Kushak, of course, a Pesic sledge. But it's like you know, why haven't they been playing in the top division since the the very start? You know, I mean, there's not too many additional signings there. I've got Arbeloa, etc. But yeah. 
that is uh, their team, guys. Anyway, guys, it's back to the Champions League once again. To kick us off with, we have got um, Valencia and Villarreal in Group A, and the two we've got two Sp Spanish teams facing off, and the two Italian there. So we've got AC Milan and Juventus in Group B. We've got Arsenal against uh, Barcelona. That's going to be an interesting game. Uh, we've got Aston Villa, who have just won a game. So you never know, guys. You know, a team in relegation is in the Champions League. You know, I mean, imagine like if they won the Champions League by a miracle right and then they got relegated in the same season could you imagine like that would just be insane <laughs> they're at home to real madrid big night for them real batiste in our group are going to be facing uh roma we've got uh group d there with ajax and benfica and chelsea are away at paris uh so yeah we're against manchester united in the next one guys so a big game derby game in europe second game in got to try and uh, find the points if we can even a draw is, is fine really to be honest at this point no reason to panic but uh, we want to get qualified as soon as possible so yeah join us for that one guys promises to be a big night in europe please do comment subscribe and share as always and join us next time see you then